Uh, this is funny. Uh, speaking of assholes and tech that I fucking hate, uh, this is Matthew Prince, CEO of Cloudflare, who, by the way, I like to remind people, is friends with Michael Yonka, the father of Isabella Yonka, the troll of Chris Chan at the time that Chris Chan was fucking his mother, um, and a girl who was boiling animals alive and bragging about it on Discord, who changed her name because she was um, suspended from her university after it came out that she was an animal torturer. Uh, especially considering that animals on the campus had gone missing and found were found in like dumpsters, I think. Uh, that that Matthew Prince, um, who by the way Michael Yonka was also in, a contractor for the CIA. I want to say it was either the CIA or the NSA. Uh, so Matthew Prince knew this guy before the Kiwi Farms was deplatformed. Um, he's now suing his neighbors. He's suing his neighbors because uh, they, the Hermans. Uh, own two very large dogs. Now, I want to I want to clarify some language here. The se the section that this paragraph in the lawsuit is under is called the menacing dogs, which sounds like a book title. Um, maybe like a lemony snicket book for the series of unfortunate events. Well, it doesn't it's not, it has no alliteration, so it can't be lemony snicket. Anyways, the menacing dogs and the large dogs. Um, also, henceforth, they will be referred to as the baby eating hellhounds. They'll be just uh, the uh, feral pooches, the monstrous cretins. Uh, just, we, we really got to ham up that these are terrifying, terrifying beasts. Let's read what these terrifying beasts have done. Uh, worth suing over. Assuming that it wants to live. Aha! The large dogs. Do not stay within the trail easement and frequently roam around the backyard of the residence of the plaintiff's property. That's pretty fucking annoying. I'll give them that. On several occasions, the large dogs have aggressively approached, chased, and harassed the residents and guests of the plaintiff's property. For example, on at least one occasion, one or both of the large dogs aggressively chased and cornered one of the residents of the plaintiff's property while the resident was in the backyard. The backyard of plaintiff's property cannot be a fence to keep the large dogs out because such fencing is prohibited by restriction of the subdivision plat. Dude, imagine being the head of a multi-billion dollar glowy organization, but you have to live in California, so you live in, like, cuckold a hill in a little shanty that shares roads? And you can't even set up fencing for your property to keep large dogs out of the out of it. Like, and what what profits a man who gains the world but loses his soul? And he can no and he's like cuckolded by like eight levels of homeowners association. What's the point of what is the point of your wealth when that's your living condition? Uh, it continues. The residents of the plaintiff's property cannot use and enjoy their property to the fullest extent, and they, as they wish, because the large dogs are aggressive towards people. All residents and guests, especially children that on occasion may be at home. Oh, Matthew Prince, I don't want to think that you admit that you have like a string of random children visiting your house, not in the current climate. Uh, cannot be outside at the plaintiff's property for, out of fear of the roaming large dogs upon information and belief the hamans are senior and frail and unable to control the large dogs even when the large dogs are walked separately so this is an elderly couple that lives in this housing division with matthew prince a multi-billionaire and he is unable to convince them to re restrain their dogs better it's not a pit bull. If you think it's a pit bull, if, look, if this was a bully XL, I'd be for it. I'd be giving Matthew Prince a gun so he can shoot them. But these are not. The large, I know you're thinking, large, menacing dogs? It must be a, a, a shit bull. No, wait for it. In addition to being aggressive and failing to stay within the trail easement, the large dogs bark loudly and create an unreasonable amount of noise. Additionally, the large dogs defecate and urinate on the plaintiff's property that is also outside the scope of the permissive use of the trail easement. The trail easement, by its term, does not allow dogs, let alone the roaming large dogs, to use the trail easement. 
Plaintiff and its owners, guests, and invitees are unable to fully use and enjoy the plaintiff's property given the constant trespassing by defendants, their guests, invitees, and pets. Specifically, no residents or guests of the plaintiff's property can be outside for much time due to the fear of the large dogs. The large dogs, frequent barking, roaming, defecation, and urination is offensive and substantially interferes with the private use and enjoyment of the plaintiff's property and the responsibility of the defendants. Um, so this is a nice little um, uh, artist's depiction of what perhaps these large dogs um, look like. Uh, these dogs are particularly menacing. I personally can understand why Matthew Prince would be afraid of them, would be afraid to deal with them and their defecation and menacing intrusion on his trail easement. I personally would never want to deal with such horrible monsters. Um, however, <clears throat> there is a description. I think this is it. Prince defended his decision to escalate the conflict by filing the lawsuit this weekend. The Herman's dogs, Sasha and Mocha, chased his 80 year old mother and terrified his nandy he said and they were defecating all over the place so these guys were running after his mom harassing his mom boofing woof, 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 at his mother and shitting up all over the, they were i like to imagine that they were shitting as they were doing this so they were like chasing like they were herding his mother into a corner going woof, woof, woof. and they were shitting at the same time the poo was just splattering all over the yard um so now is the time to reveal because it is in this thread, but it, there's not a picture. There's not a picture of the dogs. So I would like to show you um, what this breed is, assuming that I can manage this with my internet such that it is. Let me hide it so that there's no spoilage of the large dogs. Give me a sec. I'm doing everything I can, chat. Everything I can. Okay, be be warned, chat. A picture of a large dog will appear on your screen, and it may cause defecation and urination and in, inability to reasonably use your own stream. It's coming. It is a Bernese mountain dog. It is one of the, the nicest, kindest animals you could possibly have. There is no threat from this animal. Um... I'm sure that the poo poo pee pee is a nuisance, um, but to say that they are in any way intimidating animals uh, is ridiculous. I am impressive. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, the chat's a little bit behind. I'd like, I would like to read the uh, reaction to this revelation. Uh, anyways, so we know that Matthew Prince lives in a hell of his own making. Even though he thought he had gotten rid of the menacing dogs, uh, they are still after him, still boofing at him, and still shitting all over the place and asking him to clean it up for free. Uh, which has triggered him into suing his own neighbors. I'm sure a very popular move in that neighborhood that he has to live in because he's a California tech giant billionaire and he can't live anywhere else for some reason. More importantly, these large dogs make children unwilling to visit him at his home, which uh, is a true uh, inciting, in inciting incident for this lawsuit. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!